The Montreal Canadiens have found their new general manager naming Kent Hughes to the position on Tuesday. We are joined by Eric Engels. Eric, when Jeff Gordon had his introductory press conference, he said the search for the GM was going to be outside the box. Would this count as that? Not in my view, but I think in a lot of people around Quebec's view, they're looking at the name Kent Hughes and thinking, well, you know, it's not exactly the most French name we've ever heard. He is perfectly bilingual, which makes him a strong candidate to begin with, and obviously one worth consideration. But what I'm not surprised about is that when Jeff Gordon first had his his introduction to the Montreal media, he was asked what kind of person best fits and best complements his skill set. And the first words out of his mouth were an agent. And this is one that he's had a longstanding relationship with and has built up a lot of trust and currency with. And I think Jeff Gordon felt it was really imperative to find the best possible fit someone that he could work closely with on a daily basis and someone who he already has an established trust with. Because I've had conversations with Glenn Sather and John Davidson, who obviously work with Jeff Gordon in New York. And both of them said, this is a loyal guy and a guy who really listens to the people around him and is analytical before making his decisions. Why not go with somebody who you really trust? The name Kent Hughes was thrown around a little bit in December, although he himself denied ever being in negotiations with the Canadians themselves but it will have a lot of people googling that name today so who exactly is Kent Hughes new GM of the Montreal Canadiens well he's a longtime agent 25 years in the business he's helped build up the agency that inevitably got sold to the Saputos here in Montreal known as Cortex uh you know he's managing currently active uh contracts upwards of close to 300 million dollars obviously some very high profile players on the list from Chris Letang to Patrice Bergeron the captain of the Bruins um, you know, and and formerly Vincent LeCavalier was was a very big one on his list. You know, it's it's a big decision to step away from a business like that, not just in terms of the financials, but once you venture into this space uh, and cross over that line, it's hard to cross back. And for someone who's built their entire career doing that type of work, like I said, it's a it's a really big decision. What's clear to me is that the financials needed to make sense, and Jeff Molson made a big commitment at five years to Kent Hughes. And I don't think it's just about the financials. I think, you know, the opportunity to help reshape and mold the next Stanley Cup champion in Montreal, it might take some time, obviously, but that is what these guys are looking for and potentially building it from scratch as they tear down what's going on here, which I think is an inevitability. So really interesting decision made here, really interesting person that we're going to get to know a lot better when he finally addresses the media tomorrow. So what is the short term for now, Hughes? And Gordon, again, you, you got a last place team in Montreal. Would it be just to assess what's going on this year and then try to figure out where to make the respective moves? You know, I think they'll play it that way. But I do believe that within the process of hiring a new GM, you know, obviously everyone was asked for what their vision is for the team. Right. So I think Gordon has a good idea and, and is obviously aligned and with Hughes and whatever his vision is. And together, you know, they're going to probably buy themselves time tomorrow when they talk to the media and say, look, we need to assess things and converse. They've got a lot of conversations to have with players that are here, ones with long-term contracts that uh, are further down the line on the back nine of their careers, guys like Carey Price, Jeff Petrie, Brandon Gallagher, who are going to need to decide what they want their future to be with the Montreal Canadiens. And I think that also dictates a lot of the direction that Jeff Gordon and Kent Hughes need to take this team in, right? They, they could decide all they want. Oh, you know, we're going to go for a full rebuild, but without the consent of some players who have control on whether or not they move, that's one thing. And, and the other side is if they say, oh, we just need a reset and we're just going to mix a couple pieces in and keep our long-term guys. Well, if Carey Price comes to them and says, guys, it's been a slice in Montreal, but I'm on my way out they're not really dictating which direction to take this in. So it's a really interesting dynamic, but I think both men are going to be extremely excited in terms of where it goes. And I think the hockey operations staff and part of filling that out to, to fill out different mandates that the organization has on the development side, on the diversity side, on the mental health side uh, are also key priorities moving forward now that the GM job has been resolved. Eric, we appreciate your time and your insights. My pleasure.